Oh, oh, oh. There is a dream that caught me off a dream.
I have all these responsibilities and all, right. all this going on and it seems like I'm doing everything I can for you and everything is just going opposite. Anybody ever been there where it seems like you're doing all the things? You took two steps forward, you took five steps back and you said, you're saying, God, what, you know, what in the world is going on? And I was sitting in my kitchen and, and I didn't understand it. And then these words came, I said, Lord, you are good.
give thanks to Almighty God who is our creator, sustainer, and to each of us as we do a live recording and we will release this at 1130, 11 o'clock tonight uh, because of the pandemic and all of the other uh, situations that are going on. We decide to encourage people to spend their time at home in safety uh, because of the violence that's in the atmosphere across this country. And we certainly would appreciate it if you would tune in to us and enjoy our worship moments and words of encouragement as if we are blessed with grace and mercy, we will gather again tomorrow in a new year that we might bring forth glory and honor to the almighty creator we say to each of you be encouraged be enriched from his with his glory his wisdom and his love and know that he cares for you and whatever you do don't make resolution but make a des have a desire to partake more of him and covenant with him become one with him and all your needs will be fulfilled all your desires will be governed by the shepherd who is Jesus, our great shepherd. We love you and we are praising God that we have an opportunity to share some words of wisdom with you tonight. And also to encourage you to love like him, enjoy life like he designed it to be. And for God's sake, pray for each other. This time we're going to have our mission statement and then we're going to have a couple of litanies and then we're going to go forward from there. There'll be some additional things that will be on the program. And if you have problems with any of the uh, uh, sites that we are, are, are currently streaming to, uh, you can try one or the other, either Facebook or YouTube, and we will hopefully uh, be entertaining you with truth from heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. At this time, Elder Fenton is going to come. She's going to do... Um, uh, our mission and purpose as a holistic ministry and uh, we're going to have Elder she's going to do a litany and Elder Howard is going to come and do a litany and uh, we would have uh, tuned in some others but they're either at work and we didn't want to since we are here anyway we just use what we got here today in Jesus name Amen The mission statement for First Samuel Church Holistic Ministries, a holistic church manifesting, magnifying, and glorifying God by serving mankind. Ephesians 4, verses 1 through 17, Romans 1, 1, Philippians 4, 13. Our vision. The vision of First Samuel Church Holistic Ministries is to enhance and develop the total man, regardless of race, creed, color, culture, social status, financial status, or religious beliefs, and to see all individuals and families growing and flourishing in all areas of their lives. Therefore, Christian growth is loving Elohim God completely, loving others compassionately, and loving self correctly. St. John 13 verses 34 and 35, Matthew 22 verses 37 through 40, Deuteronomy 6 verses 1 through 8. Be converted, be committed, be connected. First Samuel Church Holistic Ministries builds lives using the Word of God, and this is building lives for fathers, mothers, youth, families, and community. Holistic Ministries builds lives with the Word of Elohim God and His Holy Spirit through teaching, prayer, praise, worship, in reach and outreach ministries. Holistic Ministries builds lives with the Word of God and His Holy Spirit through edification, empowerment, enlightenment, enrichment, encouragement, enhancement, evangelism, and equipping. The mission of First Samuel Church Holistic Ministries. The Pentecost Prayer. Breathe in us, Shekinah glory, Holy Spirit, that our thoughts, life, live, Shekinah glory, Holy Spirit. Act in us, Shekinah glory, Holy Spirit, 
that our mission ministry be Shekinah glory, Holy Spirit. Draw our hearts, minds, souls, Shekinah glory, Holy Spirit, that we agape love you, Shekinah glory, Holy Spirit. Empower, enlighten, enrich us, Shekinah glory, Holy Spirit, to reflect, reveal, flowing from our hearts, minds, souls, who is Shekinah glory, Holy Spirit. Guard our hearts, minds, souls, Shekinah glory, Holy Spirit, that our hearts, minds, souls produce Shekinah glory, Holy Spirit fruit. Be the administrator of our hearts, minds, souls, Shekinah glory, Holy Spirit, that our hearts, minds, souls do ministries like Jesus, Holy Spirit. Be the administrator of our hearts, minds, souls, Shekinah glory, Holy Spirit, that our hearts, minds, souls see life living like Jesus, Holy Spirit. Be the administrator of our hearts, minds, souls, Shekinah glory, Holy Spirit, that our hearts, minds, souls pray like Jesus, Holy Spirit. Be the administrator of our hearts, minds, souls, Shekinah glory, Holy Spirit, that we life live like Jesus, Holy Spirit and that we continually pray. Ephesians 3, verses 14 through 21. For this reason, we bow our knees to the Father, Elohim God, of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he will grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might through his, Jesus, Holy Spirit, in the inner man that Christ may dwell in your hearts, minds, souls through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in agape love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and length and depth and height, to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of Elohim God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, Holy Word. Now to him, who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. To him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Prayer Litany, Isaiah 40, 1 through 31. We are humble and grateful to believe, praise, and pray Elohim God, Jesus Holy Spirit's holy prophetic word of comfort, enlightenment, empowerment, and encouragement. Comfort, comfort my people, says Elohim God. Speak tenderly to the heart of Jerusalem and cry to her that her time of service and her warfare are ended, that her punishment is accepted and her iniquity is pardoned, and that she has received punishment from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice of one cries, prepare in the wilderness the way of the Lord, clear away the obstacles, make straight and smooth in the desert a highway for Elohim God. Every valley shall be lifted, and filled up and every mountain and hill shall be made low and the crooked and uneven shall be made straight and level and the rough places a plain. We are humble and grateful to believe, praise and pray Elohim God, Jesus Holy Spirit's holy prophetic word of comfort, enlightenment, empowerment and encouragement. And the glory, majesty, and splendor of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. A voice cries, cry, prophesy. And I said, why shall I cry? The voice answered, proclaim. All flesh is as frail as grass, and all that makes it attractive is kindness, is goodwill, is mercy from Elohim God. Its glory and comeliness, however good, is transitory, like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely all the people are like grass. The grass withers, the flowers fade, but the word of Elohim God will stand forever. 
We are humble and grateful to believe, praise, and pray Elohim God, Jesus Holy Spirit's holy prophetic word of comfort, enlightenment, empowerment, and encouragement. O oh, you who bring good tidings to Zion, get up to the high mountain. O oh, you who bring good tidings to Jerusalem, lift up your voice with strength. Lift it up, be not afraid. Say to the cities of Judah, Behold your Elohim God. Behold, the Lord Elohim God will come with might, and his arm will rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arm. He will carry them in his bosom, and will gently lead those that have their young. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, marked off the heavens with a nine-inch span? enclosed the dust of the earth in a measure, and waved the mountains and scales and the hills in a balance. We are humble and grateful to believe, praise, and pray Elohim God, Jesus Holy Spirit's holy prophetic word of comfort, enlightenment, empowerment, and encouragement. Who has directed the Holy Spirit of the Lord, or as his counselor has taught him? With whom did he take counsel that instruction might be given him? Who taught him the path of justice and taught him knowledge and showed him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations are like a drop from a bucket and are counted as small dust on the scales. Behold, he takes up the owls like a very little thing, and all Lebanon's forests cannot supply sufficient fuel, nor all his wild beasts furnish victims enough to burn sacrifices worthy of the Lord. We are humble and grateful to believe, praise, and pray Elohim God, Jesus Holy Spirit's prophetic word of comfort, enlightenment, empowerment, and encouragement. All nations are as nothing before him. They are regarded by him as less than nothing and emptiness, waste, futility, and worthlessness. To whom then will you like, liken Elohim God? Or with what likeness will you compare him? The graven image. A workman casts it, and a goldsmith overlays it with gold and casts silver chains for it. He who is so impoverished that he has no offering or obligation or rich gift to give to his God is constrained to make a wooden offering, an idol, so he chooses a tree that will not rot. He seeks out a skillful craftsman to carve and set up an image that will not totter or deteriorate. You worshipers of idols, you are without excuse. Do you not know? Have you not heard? Has it not been told you from the beginning? These things ought to convince you of Elohim God's omnipotence and of the folly of bowing to idols. Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? We are humble and grateful to believe, praise, and pray Elohim God, Jesus Holy Spirit's holy prophetic word of comfort, enlightenment, empowerment, and encouragement. It is Elohim God who sits above the circle, the horizon of the earth, and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers. It is he who stretches out the heavens like God's curtains and spreads them out like a tent to dwell in. Who brings dignitaries to nothing? Who makes the judges and rulers of the earth as chaos, emptiness, falsity, and futility? Yes, these men are scarcely planted. Scarcely are they sown. Scarcely does their stock take root in the earth when the Lord blows upon them and they wither and the whirlwind or tempest takes them away like stubble. To whom then will you liken me that I should be equal to him, says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these. He who brings out their host by number and calls them all by name through the greatness of his might and because he is strong in power, not one is missing or lacks anything. We are humble and grateful to believe, praise, and pray Elohim God, Jesus Holy Spirit's holy prophetic word of comfort, enlightenment, empowerment, and encouragement. Why, O Jacob, do you say and declare, O Israel, my way and my lot are hidden from the Lord, and my right is passed over without regard from Elohim God? Have you not known, have you not heard, the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, does not faint or grow weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He gives power to the faint and weary, and to him who has no might, he increases strength, causing it to multiply and making it to abound. Even youth shall faint and be weary, and a selected young men shall feebly stumble and fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord, who expect, look for, and hope in him, shall change and renew their strength and power. 
They shall lift up their wings and mount up close to Elohim God as eagles mount up to the sun. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint or become tired. Amen. Amen. We thank God for those powerful litanies of expression prayer. Amen. And, and hopefully you will receive them. Amen. And um, Father, we thank you for this day. And as we journey towards the end of another year, go with your people. Watch over your people. Keep them in your care. Lord, hold them on the straight path of life. Fill them with joy and peace. In a world and time that is filled with trouble of the world in time where it looked like doctors are gathering against the souls of men. But don't let us lose our identity as to who we are in you and you in us because you're so mighty in all that you do. We love you, Father, and we praise you. Wherever those are hurting that, we ask for you to strengthen them and encourage them. Wherever those who are lonely, those who are in harm's way or in tough situation, we ask for mercy right now. And Elohim, God, create and sustain us as you scan the earth, Father, you already see and know the needs, you know the warfare. But in the midst of good choices and bad choices, you work out your will prophetically that mankind might be able to gather in and see the hands of you working among all of the choices that people make in life. We love you, Father, and we praise you. Go with all of the body of Christ, wherever he or she is, till God touch every member, O oh God, of the body of Christ, that they become greater salt, greater light for you going into 2022. We pray for those who are grieving, loved ones who are going on. Hold them in your care. Keep them, Father. In Jesus' name, we ask this. Decree it and declare it. Amen. I want to say amen. Uh, we want to just share a few words of uh, encouragement with everyone, and hopefully you'll be receptive of it. Uh, she will, we will be posting the scriptures out there, some of them. And you can research others that would bring even greater clarity to your mind as to who you are in the body of Christ. And what we want to do today is uh, to share with people uh, because there is a tremendous need for people to understand who he or she is. There seems to be an identity crisis in the earth right now. Mankind are trying everything to identify him or herself or to feel somewhat blessed and good about him or herself. But I want to use a thought for today to encourage you according to the word of Elohim God, who is a man that has, and he's not like man that he shall lie. He, uh, his truth is pure. What he does is pure. And the evidence of what he has prophetically written between Genesis and Revelation is manifested, has manifested, and is being fulfilled before our eyes. So today, amen, uh, we want to share this thought, biblical prophetic evidence. Who does Elohim God say I am life living in Jesus and Jesus life living in me? And uh, we want you to understand that the purpose of this is to let God identify us if we, amen, are Christians and that we can represent him to share with others how they can be identified and sealed by his holy word. And uh, what I want to share is that I don't know about you, but I'm fully persuaded to know that uh, who you are in Christ Jesus has been biblically, prophetically, and, and eternally defined. The definition of the benefits are there. If you want them, you partake of it, and they will manifest in your life. Amen. You need resources. The earth is his and the fullness thereof. If you don't know your purpose, uh, talk to him and spend time with him and partake of him, and he will manifest his purpose in you. And we give you the strength, the wisdom, and the encouragement. Give you the power and the desire to fulfill your purpose. Amen. And your purpose tag team with the characteristics of Christ and who he is because 
whatever assignment you or I have, the utmost will of God is that we manifest his wisdom and his image of who he is as our Heavenly Father and what we do. We have many scriptures. As we said earlier, you can partake of those scriptures uh, when you look at uh, what we post out there for you. Amen. And the other point is we want to share with people going into 2022 is that we should not look at the Christian ranks as being divided. We should start looking at it through the eyes of Christ and identify with the fact that it is one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. That identify with him that is but one bride, and we all have characteristics that, that are a part of him as he is the true vine and we are the branches. Amen. And also that there is one administrator, the Holy Spirit, who governs us, amen, and synchronizes us that we might be able to be in sync with the Father, orchestrating those who belong to him and his family on earth and our behavior and our attitudes and we are true born again Christian growing in the grace glorifying him in all that we do we will begin to manifest that they but one holy family that belong to Christ and not we should not be uh, having these debates about relationships and fellowships so all of that baggage we need to leave in 2021 Amen. Ask God to search the baggage of what we carry in, and then we should get rid of it. Uh, key words today you want to pick up on is identity, Elohim God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and truthful Christians. And the reason that I always use truthful Christians, I've learned that everything professed to be true and or real is not what it's professed to be because the tree is known by his fruit and that is biblically sound y'all with me so far and the other point is the reason we use certain names of god as he identifies himself is to show you and i just because somebody say god they might not be talking about the true and living god they but one true and living god who will become the father of those who i see and believe and study the scriptures amen according to what Jesus taught in St. John 3, we must be born again of the Spirit of God. Amen. And then when we are born again of the Spirit of God, He continuously seals us, stamps us, put His stamp on us that we are His. You have to, to impress nobody or who you are. Just partake of this bread and water. Let the foundation of what Christ has built be your foundation. And then you just walk with Him as Amos 3, 3 said, how can two walk together if they agree? So that's what this is all about. One of the scriptures I wanted to bring in was Ephesians 1, 1 through 23. I will not walk through all of that, but I will share some of the pieces of it. Look what Paul says to you and I. Again, don't try to identify yourself with God through the religious acts that has been uh, handpicked or theologically picked out of the word of God to try to impress people that you are, are greater than what you're supposed to be according to how he has developed you if you belong to him, if that makes sense to you. Look what Paul says. Paul's an apostle of Christ by the will of Elohim God. He said to Elohim God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, holy people in Ephesus. He's talking not just in Ephesus, but he's talking to all of us. The faithful, where are the faithful in? They life live in Christ, and Christ's life live in us. We need to put a peg on that and know that we all life live somewhere. And I'm not talking about 2015 West 29th Street or 2015 West 30th Street or Am Street. I'm talking about spiritual location. Where do you live spiritually? Look what Paul says. Grace and peace to you from Elohim God, our Father. Today, we say, may the grace of God, the peace of God, embrace you, and you in turn embrace it back. Because no matter how turmoil and how, how uh, stormy this world get, and how the contrary winds are blowing and shifting, if you have the identity as we are talking, and you are in him, and he's in you, no wind can blow you off course, because he's the one that manifested his power. 
power in a boat when the disciple was in a storm. He said, peace be still. And he told you and I, he would leave his peace with us. Somebody, wherever you are in your homes today, ought to give him some praise right there. Am I right about it? Look what he says in verse 2. He said, grace and peace to you from where? Elohim God. He didn't say you get it from a denomination. You didn't get it from your best friend. You didn't get it from this person that... The pure peace that we have in a world that is filled with all kinds of drama, you, you see what I'm saying, is it, it's, it's only a gift from God. you got to believe it, receive it, and then I, you become identifiable with it when you hit trials and tribulations and storms, ups and downs, valleys and dark moments and dark times. The challenge you hit will not be greater than the love of God that has you or the peace of God that dwells in you. Look what he says in verse on down he said praise for Elohim the Holy Spirit your blessings in Elohim God praise be to the Father Elohim God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed you and I as truthful Christian where in heavenly realms amen with every Holy Spirit blessing in Christ Jesus we can't segregate we can't tell the Holy Spirit what to do or rewrite his resume or what he prefer him, him to be in us that's why I gave you this Accepted. Who does Elohim God say I am? Life living in Jesus and Jesus life living in you and I. And what he does to you and I, y'all, he tells you and I in Romans 8 that we have not the Holy Spirit of Christ. We are not a his. I don't care what kind of religious rituals we put together. I don't care what kind of mechanical things we put together. We can never have the right identity unless we covenant with him and let him work in us as the litany read earlier. There are many Administrated in us, Ephesians 3 14 through 21. He that worketh in us bring forth what great fruits. Look what he said. For he chose you and I in him before the creation of the world. God is Alpha and Omega. He already know what storms you're going to hit in 2022 if we are uh, blessed to cross over the, the border of amen of midnight into the new year. He already know every trial. He already know every challenge. And what we want to be able to do, y'all, is to be able to identify with Christ that no matter what happened, we can say to the world, yes, all of this drama is going on, but we're going to be that empowering light that will help people to direct people. We're going to be that buoy that sits on the, the, the ocean of life on earth so people can see the way to travel. We're going to be those people, y'all, that when the winds are just blowing people off course and people are angry and upset and they don't carry this baggage into a new year, that God has delivered us from that. Do we have the challenges? Sure we do. Did Jesus have the challenges? Sure he had the challenges. Look what he says. He who predestines us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with what? His pleasure and will. Somebody ought to praise him in your home wherever you are today. Amen. And look what Jesus said in St. John 1, 1 through 14. I won't quote all of it, just some of it. In the beginning was what? The Word, and the Word was with God. Then it goes on down to St. John 12. To as many as believe, your belief system is powerful when the Elohim God, who managed the whole universe, we, be, and that we cannot even imagine how uh, far he is, the, the magnitude of the universe, he wants to have part of him, the Holy Spirit in you and I, that was in Christ on his man's side, to cause you and I to have the identity that no matter what we hear, no matter the challenge we come against, no matter what the politicians do, no matter how rhetoric, amen, they become with hate, amen, we are greater than that because we have the identity of Christ, we identify with him, we are connected to him, we have been adopted by him, somebody ought to praise him wherever you is. So look what he says in verse 6, to the praise of his glorious grace, somebody, wherever you are, you ought to give him praise and have a desire, amen, not to just get up and get your morning cup of coffee but get up and get some word in you to face today to show that people you got a new identity. Somebody praise him right there. Look what he says in John 1 and 2. Amen. You ought to be able to say to the world, amen, without anything going on amen in the mechanicals, you don't have to wait till you get to the church building. Your identity ought to be manifested in the marketplace. Your identity ought to be manifested, amen, when hell come against you because the greatest prophet that ever walked this earth 
already prophesied, amen, that the gates of hell will not prevail. He told you and I, in this world, we're going to have trials and tribulations. They're going to do all of this against truthful Christians. Somebody ought to praise him wherever you are, amen. But he said, be of good cheer. He has overcome the world. And when he, what he says there is that no matter what happened to you, the world no longer have a government affair on you unless you decide to backslide or make choice of that. We ought to praise him right there. Do we have moments? Sure we do. Look what he says here. Amen. In him we have what? Redemption. Amen. Through his blood. Amen. Washed in the blood. We sing the, song, the forgiveness of sin. Y'all with me so far? And I'm going to pause right there and, 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 and share this with you. See, we look at sin as three major things. We, we have different groups of religious people who, amen, have certain types of things they consider sin. But sin is anything in you or I that has no, it has a bad reflection of the image of how God created Adam and Eve. And he is the sanctifier, St. John 17. As man, we pray that sometime around here. We do the litany with it. He, not only what Jesus did, he said, sanctify them how with your truth. You can't sanctify yourself with the outside carnal things. That's not how you identify with, with the heavenly host and, and, and who God is and what he does. That's not how you do that. Somebody praise him right there. You can't talk yourself into heaven. You gotta be born again, converted. Somebody praise him right there. Look what he said. And we here we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sin. Amen. Let's look at sin. Attitude. When you have attitude towards people, when you have attitudes when you wake up in the morning. Do those demons and fevers hit us? Sure they do. But I thank God for grace and mercy. Amen. That he don't let me lose my identity because he got me. He hold me. He's the shepherd and the bishop of my soul. You ought to praise him right there. I mean, you ain't got to tell nobody I give God glory. Just let your, present your body what? A living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto the Lord. And then the glory of God will manifest out of you. Amen. It's just like drinking water. It's just like drinking Drinking alcohol, many gonna do cheers by drinking alcohol when the clock strike midnight. But I tell you, you ought to and, and get the glory of the alcohol in you or whatever else you might put in your body. But I came by to tell somebody today, put the word of God in you. And when the amen, when midnight come and you are awake on this side, you amen, the glory of God ought to manifest in your life. Somebody praising right there. The cheer ought to be holding up the word of God. The cheer ought to be, amen, Psalms 116. You ought to take up the cup of salvation and give him praise in the building, amen, or wherever you are. And the building, by the way, is not the building where we conjugate. The building is where you dwell there. This body belongs to God. He just lent it to me. But my identity, he can re-identify me from the fallen man into the new man in Christ. Somebody praising right there, amen. Look what he does in verse 8, amen, amen. He has lavished grace and mercy upon her. Amen. When you lavish something, you put extraordinary stuff in that. And I need somebody to realize, quit thinking bad of yourself. Quit beating yourself up. Quit knocking yourself down. You ain't this and you ain't that. And when you make a choice, if it's a good choice or a bad choice, amen, gather yourself together in the word of God and ask him to guide you and know that if you make a good choice or a bad choice, grace and mercy is there. Repentance is there. Amen. And not only that is there, amen, you have of God there, amen, who will give you another chance, amen, to run the Christian race. If you make a mistake along the way of life, somebody prays him right there. Look what he said. He lavished on us a God love. He lavished on us the wisdom of who he is. Y'all with me so far? And what you do right there is realize that all things work together for the good of God. Romans 8, 28. All things work together for the good of God. Amen. And, no, and notice, y'all, quit arguing with stuff. Quit thinking bad of yourself. Amen. But know that God can make you better day by day. Amen. Don't become bitter. Become better. Amen. When life is beating you up, consider it some time to be a blessing. Maybe you or I have been chosen by God to show the world that no matter how things hit against us, we are safe in the arms of Christ because he's our refuge, a very present help in the time of trouble. Amen. You ought not to be identified with the spirit of frustration, the spirit of anger. That's not the identity we have as Christians. 
sister calling each other out, saying this and that, peeping in other folks' closets and seeing what's going on. I thank God, amen, that grace and mercy don't peep in my closet, but it cleans my closet up. Somebody praise him right there. Look what he says, that he lavishes on us with all wisdom and understanding. Am I talking to anybody right there? Man, what he says there, amen. Somebody said, well, how do I get the wisdom? Out of Believe in the benefit, receive the benefit, partake of the bread. Didn't that Jesus say, if you partake of the bread, amen, and you drink of the living water out of your belly, you flow what living water. Shouldn't our conversation be identical, growing in the glory of God, growing in the identity of who he is? Somebody praising right there. Growing, growing, growing. People think growing when you can mechanicalize your religion a little bit better than you did last Sunday. That's not growth. Growth is when you're able to hit an island and you feel like you're on the Isle of Patmos and you're still praising God. Growth is when, amen, when the gates of hell is beating you and you're still shouting and praising God. Growth is when you, amen, see the struggling family next door or when you pass by the child that is going down the wrong way in life and you will say a prayer and you come back another day and see the Lord has been hearing your prayers. He's helping that child, helping that growth is when you have deep concerns for other folks. When Jesus saw the crowd and all of the hurting there, he had compassion on them. Somebody ought to praise him wherever you are. How can we say we are, amen, growing in God when we become selfish if we're not careful? We don't care about nobody. We become denomination. Somebody praise him right there. But when you are growing in God, you see the hurting, even though you might have pain beyond measure. You can't even stand your warfare. You can't even stand your storm. You you can't even stand, amen, how people are nailing you to the cross by belittling you and lying on you and running you down. You don't get upset, amen. You bow your head like Christ and say, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Amen. Somebody say, that's hard to do. I came by to tell somebody. He made a promise to his disciple and that same promise is to you and I. He will leave us a comforter. He will leave us a helper. Somebody praising God right there. See, the Holy Spirit is more than people coming to the church. Amen. Amen. Manifesting amen, and, and promoting their agenda. Look at me, I'm sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, amen, baptized and all of this, amen. I want to see you walk, amen, in the marketplace. I want to see you, amen, see the kids struggling in the schools. You can't go in the school. I want to see you when you go into the hospital rooms, amen. You can't go into every room and pray. You might be visiting a loved one, but when you get to the hospital room, you say a prayer over the hospital room. I want to see you, say it, heaven, amen. When you wake up in the morning and you see the Hey man, the pain of the caretakers working, the doctors working, the nurse. You want to see you see the attitude and the behavior of selfish people who don't care about nobody else in the spirit in the physical pandemic that we're facing. Hey Amen. When you have compassion, open your mouth and say, Lord, we need you right here. When you see, hey Amen, children in countries everywhere that is starving and we throwing stuff away. Hey Amen. We want to be able to identify with Christ that when we see the struggling, when we see the pain, when we see the hurt when we see those who made bad choices amen we can wrap them up in prayer we can wrap them up in love when they're around us somebody praise them right there you might not be able to get on a boat or an airplane to go here or there but you can mission to people and minister them through prayer amen amen Jesus will get up early in the morning Mark 1 35 and he will find a solitude praise and what do we do he will there praise somebody praise him wherever you are it's awesome how we ought to be able to get up in the morning amen and and say a prayer. And many times when we get up, we identify with Christ. We don't, amen, pray, amen, for the struggle we have. We pray for the struggles of others. And by the time you get through praying for the struggles of others, you will discover that you are a branch of Christ. Amen. That, amen. You, he is the conduit that, amen, flows from heaven, the fountain that flows into you. You got to believe it, that your warfare is not carnal, but it is spiritual. Somebody praise him right there. And then what you got to do, amen. I know we sing the song, what a friend we have in Jesus. But look what he says right here. He lavished his love on us. He dressed us in royalty. Somebody praise him right there. Stop beating yourself up that you, amen, you just a nobody because you serve a church in a certain part of the city. You don't have 15,000 members like other people. Jesus only had 12 and one was a Judah. Somebody praise him right there. But he had some that identified with him. Somebody shout right there. Amen. And give him praise right there. Let me move on. Y'all. 
And, and what he did for us, y'all know, he made known his will. Am I talking to anybody right there? And what I love about God, y'all are, when he scans my soul, he scans people's soul. You ain't got to justify your salvation to nobody. You ain't got to go out there and learn religious habit to justify you. He, uh, Amen. All you got to do, believe, and he will crucify the old nature in you. And then you can quote, amen, Galatians 4 and 4. I've been crucified with Christ. I live, yet not I. Then you can move on down in there and say to the Lord, I thank you for being the bishop and the shepherd of my soul. Amen. I've grown. I, I no longer have a desire to frustrate the Holy Spirit. Amen. To grieve him when he lives in me because I want to have my way. I want him to control. I want to control him instead of him controlling me. Amen. Hey, I, I've been crucified. Look what he says in Romans 6 and 6. My old self was crucified with Christ. I am no longer a slave to sin. Amen. Some people have a problem with that. What that means is, you, amen, you want move from being a habitual sinner amen to sin always challenge you and I and sometimes yes it does and sometimes we catch a amen a bug or two but I thank God that he is the physician the physician that can heal your stuff hey, am I talking to anybody right there hey, knowing that our old self was crucified with him in order that our body of sin might be done away with somebody praising with that that we should no longer be slaves to sin amen sin amen is bad 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 religion Religion, amen. It sets in every building, y'all. We got sins, amen. Where people can't, amen, come to the building unless they do the mechanical, amen. God, sin, y'all, is when we try to identify who we are. And let, let me drop this on you. Could it be that, y'all, that, that we addressing ourselves with fig leaves that Adam and Eve did instead of letting God dress us in the royalty who he is, that we can be royal priests and priests? Somebody praise it, wherever you are. Could it be, y'all, that we go to church to church? to learn certain behaviors to dress ourselves and, and, and practice them and, and become mechanical amen worshipers somebody praise God but I need somebody here today that will be able to understand amen that we are not condemned that we are in him amen but we are renewed uh, day by day somebody praising right there we ought to be able to say Lord here is my body humbly I give it to you Lord knowing ye that my body is what the temple of God somebody praising right knowing ye that my body belongs to you Lord thank you Lord for let me dwell in my body. Amen. I might be five feet. I might be seven feet. I might be this or that. But I thank you. That ain't really who I am. Who I am is how I have identified with Christ. Somebody praise him right there and give him praise in the building here or wherever you might be in your building. Am I talking to anybody up in here? Amen. Look what he says right there. Uh, amen. I, 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 I'm a fellow heir of who he is. Amen. Some of the, the benefits that Christ got. Amen. Isaiah 53 we should inherit some of that. When you get saved, y'all, your identity switches over. Hey, hey, amen. You begin to take on some of the things of Christ. Somebody praise him right there. Hey, amen. Let this mind be in you that was in Christ. Let this heart be in you that was in Christ. Somebody praise him right there. Come, come, Holy Spirit. Dwell in me. Have your way in me. Work it in me now, O great Jehovah. Hold me in your care. Am I talking to anybody right there? Look what he says. My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Am I talking to anybody right there? And when you identify with Christ, amen, look what happened at his baptism, amen, at his baptism. If I can bring this out to you, the father in the throne, Jesus coming, amen, taking on the form of man, John the Baptist baptizing him, somebody praise him right there. And what happens, y'all, is the dove came down to show the trinity of the father working, somebody shout right there. And I don't know about you, but I'm glad, y'all, that the Holy Spirit works in you and I, that we won't be just sounding bread or tingling symbols but we have the power of love in us. We have the, amen, the symptoms of, of, of sin is fading away out of our lives. Somebody ought to praise him right there. Let me move on, y'all. And sometime in life, y'all, darkness is gathering around you as it is on this earth right now. Look like everybody's in disarray. Look like everybody got at it too. Look like nobody wants to be corrected. Everybody, when you try to tell them what's right, they get upset. Amen. I come by to tell you and I, if we become unteachable when it comes to the word of God, we are in bad shape. Somebody praise him right there. Can I talk to anybody right there? You can't talk to young people anymore. Amen. They know it all. Somebody praise him right there. You can't tell a parent to quit looking at the ways of the world on how they rear their children. Somebody praise him right there. Young girls cannot grow up. Amen. And enjoy being a young child. Amen. And mature. Amen. And transition once a year to another. We want to make them grown before their time. Y'all ought to help me somebody wherever you are. 
Oh, amen. That's not how Christ did it. He said, suffer little children to forbid them not to come unto me. Amen. We got to take the children, get them in the power of prayer, get them in arms of love, and gather the children in the arms of suffering. Yes, children come out in the womb with all kinds of ideas and all kinds of behavior. They pick it up along the way in life, but we need some powerful prayer warrior to rise up early in the morning and drop to their knees and, and call on God to identify with the Father. Somebody praising right there. We need some people, y'all, that see the warfare is not carnal but in spirit. We need some people, y'all, that is going to identify with Christ when he came off the mountain of transfiguration and the, and the child was doing the bad behavior. He told the disciples, this only come through fasting and praying. Somebody praising right there. And when you fast, you ain't got to tell everybody you're fasting. When you're fasting, you ain't got to tell everybody you're doing this and that. Somebody praise him right there. When you're fasting, you, you just fast and go on and do what you do because your purpose is, they meant to have power from God that you might be able to, to pray and break yoke. That might, you might be able, and by the way, you ain't got to always lay hands on people. Be careful who you lay, quickly lay hands on, but pray the prayer and believe in oh God, amen, that God can break it right there. Amen. Many times, amen, you can pray from afar and watch God work. Amen. When it, and then yeah, the person had his child at home sick and he said to Jesus, hey, my child is at home sick. Can you come? And Jesus, they, Jesus said to him, do you believe? Do you identify with me on how, what I can do? And the, and the, and the, and the, and the parents said, yeah. And by the time the parent got, it's in the book, y'all read it. And by the time the parent got home, the child was healed. Somebody praise God. We know how to take our children, amen, to the physical doctors and get checked up. But there is a doctor that we need to take our children to in prayer that our children can be healed so they can be helped. Somebody praise him right there. There's a spiritual, amen, there's a, amen, a place we ought to take our children, amen, so they can be healed. Am I talking to anybody right there? Look what he says in, in Galatians 3, 28, amen, Jesus prayed the prayer. How I many know he can pray awesome prayers? So we ought to pray the prayer for the children. Lord, our children are becoming worn, worn with the ways of the world. They're becoming worn with the behavior and the attitudes of the world. Lord, help our child and give us the strength and give us the intelligence, gives us the durability and the insight. Oh God, guide us so we can pray and teach our children and guide them and create an atmosphere so they become one with you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, I'm sick and tired of, of seeing our children become slaves to, amen, the internet. Slaves to they, all these games they play. Slaves to this. Slaves to crazy hell do. Slaves to this and that. Amen. Amen. Slaves to this. And when the slaveness of conquer our children hard, there's something to drag them so many ways in life. They miss their purpose. They miss their assignment on this earth. Somebody praise them right there. And I got to get out of here, y'all. But I came by to tell somebody, amen, that we have, amen, identity crisis on this earth. Somebody praise them right there. People don't really know who they are. Amen. They're searching the world. Amen. The world. This field, y'all. Amen. With, amen. Shopping malls. And folks are shopping, amen, on what they want to be and how they want to do it. Somebody praise God right there. People out there shopping. People are hiding. Amen. Behind this and that. Amen. Some people, amen, think that they I, I ain't that nobody y'all. But we, we got all kinds of, of things that we're hiding in, in our minds. But I came by to tell somebody, amen, if you've been risen with Christ, amen, you, amen, you ought to become more than a conqueror. You begin to seek and desire the things from on high or wherever you are right now. And you ought to praise and right there. Can I tell you some things right here? Amen. And, and Colossians 2 and 9, it says, when the power of God come into me, y'all, amen, when Jesus shows up in me, it's the fullness of God. And the Bible is not a word that God can lie. And now y'all, our children are facing the pandemic of people walking away from Christ. Amen. When he already fulfilled it in the book of Revelation, that if you hide, amen, run away from Christ. Y'all with me right there. Amen. And he said, don't add to it or take it away. It said, y'all, that mankind only, oh, the 2,000 years ago, Jesus paid the debt. Oh, God. And so how many long ago, amen, that Adam and Eve sinned in the garden. Y'all, and we still want to uh, go back there, and, amen, and set up our own program on how we ought to be saved. I don't know about y'all, y'all, but it was Adam and Eve in the garden that God created them and identified them as male and females. He created them. It was God, y'all, that populated the 
disguise y'all and put everything in place of somebody praising right there. It was God y'all. Amen. Somebody that said let there be a major in the next little low and took nothing and made something out of it. Now you ought to praise it right there. And I don't know about y'all. If I make it into 2022, amen. I want Christ to hide me in the pavilions of who he is in the name of Jesus. I want Christ to be my life and I will reveal himself through me or wherever you are. I want you to give him praise right there in the name of Jesus. And I heard him say, yeah, I'm going away to prepare a place for you. And the disciples said, Lord, can we go? But I heard something else right there. He said, I am the way, the, the truth, and the life. And I was praying earlier this morning. And when I got out of there, I don't take that just on the natural, y'all. But when I partake of his bread and drank of his water, then his ways become my ways. Is there anybody here today when it worried me? When I drank his water, my oh God, my heart becomes soft with compassion like he is. Is there anybody there? Yeah. Then what happens to you and I? And I got to get out of here, y'all. And I heard him say, yeah, I'm going to raise me up a priesthood. And they're going to be peculiar and unusual. And when I'm traveling about and I see people, y'all, and they don't, I don't have no signs of decoration on me that I am a Christian. I, I was at a store just recently and a lady walked up to me and said, sir, I believe you are a prayer warrior. Uh, can you pray for my family? I ne probably never see that woman again. So I began to pray and every time the administrator pop her in my mind, I pray for her. Uh, Y'all with me right there. Uh, can we praise God? Uh, yeah. When I identify with Christ, you old. Uh, I look at the world uh, through the eyes of Christ. Uh, somebody praising right there. And when I see the world uh, through the eyes of Christ, uh, his heart began to bubble in me. Uh, is anybody there, y'all? Uh, I might not have the physical resources, uh, but I have the benefits of heaven. Uh, I can pray for thee. Uh, and in my presence, I can show them love. Uh, somebody shout right there. I heard uh, somebody say, yeah. I heard him say, uh, a good God Almighty, uh, oh God from Zion, uh, yeah, I heard him say, uh, I'll come back one day, uh, but right now, uh, I need you to occupy, uh, and I need some people to occupy with Christ, y'all, it's a sad thing, y'all, if I can use this metaphor, somebody ought to say amen, or wherever you are right now, uh, that when the body of Christ uh, becomes one with him. What a power we have. If we would pray to oh God according to the style of Christ. Somebody praising right there. We can break some of the demons of our families y'all. We can break some of the demons of our children y'all. We can have Jesus to send ministering angels into the buildings of oh God or prisons right there. We can break some of the burdens y'all in politics. Somebody praising right there. If we identify with Christ then I begin to have the resources he got, the benefits he got, the power he got. In his year, I become strange and peculiar. Am I right about it? Somebody praising right there. And when they nail you to the wall, don't worry about it. When they bury you in mess, don't you right with God. You should rise again above that stuff. Am I right about it, y'all? Somebody praise him right there. So going to 2022, laying aside every sin and wait that box you down that hold you down get your mind right y'all yeah I gotta get out of here but he died but he got up with all power in his hand am I right about it the power in me the power of crucial Christian is not some habit we learn, but it's power. Because if I suffer like him, I reign like him. Am I right about it? Oh God, give us strength, Lord. Lord, let us, oh God, seek you more. Love you more, Lord, so we can identify with you and have identity, Lord, as a branch of wood to the vine. And the Father is a vine dresser in Jesus' name.
In Jesus' name, we shout amen. Amen and amen. Be blessed. We will be praying with you as you venture. If God so will, it's a 2022. That's just a short sermon for you to enjoy. Get the scripture, y'all, and ask God to rearrange your identity if you think you're off course so you can run your race, laying aside every sin and deed that hold you down. Don't take baggage into 2022. Ask God to examine your luggage. In Jesus' name, we plead the blood and we said amen, amen, and amen. We just gave a short sermon here today. But Father, you take it and put it in your care like the boy did the fish and the bread. And then Jesus served your people however you see fit their needs. We love you, Father. We care for you. You're awesome. You're mighty. Hold us in your care. And Father, we thank you now, Father. Watch over the, chair, the, the, the daycares and areas where people have to take their kids to go to work. Watch over the hospitals and nursing homes where loved ones are. And we pray for those who are grieving. And Lord, give the will God. We pray for our president and our governors. We pray for our president and vice president. All that he's trying to do to help us, Father. Before the infrastructure of human lives. And, and also the, the, the bridges and all of that, Father. Is crumpling, Father. Help, oh God. Make a way out of no way. And put people in place, Father. That help manage all of this right. And when the families are blessed, Father. Don't let them be wasteful. But let them identify with Christ. Lord, when he served the baskets of food. He, oh God, when some was left. He picked it up. He, he, he left nothing laying around, Father. Father. So give us strength, Father, to serve. We love you, Father. And Father, let the body of Christ begin to pray one, talk one, teach one. Who is the one? The one is Christ. Father, it's not about who is the best and who is the biggest and who is the beautiful and who is this and that, what side of the railroad track and all of that, Father. It's about the power of your Holy Spirit manifested in us so people can see the enlightenment that has shined in our hearts and scattered the darkness out of us so we can be brilliant holy heavenly sent lights in the world that is traveling through pandemics of darkness and time sins and god knows whatever else hold us in your care in jesus name we pray amen
sing it with us. Lift your hands and praise and say, come on.